I'm not in the mood of making an intro, so let's just get this over with. Hmm, this looks like a bean or no, it looks more like a three net deck. Cause honestly, the only synergy that it has to do with beans is just this. So yeah, it looks more like a three net deck. Believe it or not. Thanks to Doke for asking me to craft this thing just now. So ironic that once Doke just asked me to do a three net deck. There you go. Now we're gonna do one. Cause it looks more like a three net deck than anything. Why am I plural on? Thank goodness we got something great. Sting bean is useless. This does work with this. Ugh. Cattail, or, again, this, this thing has been basically in every deck other than Rose. Seriously, it's like every deck I do, this card is always in it. We have an environment, but it's not even a good environment. Try Keratops, you get the Legendary Guess, Magic Beans. Peanut, I don't know why Peanut's in this deck. I don't exactly know why. It's because three nuts here too. That's not a good reason. Bean counter, the only actual bean card that's synergizing. That's why I'm guessing this is more of a three nut deck. Junk bean bean, no really need for that. Other than some removal, so I guess it's not too bad. Pom poppy's good healing, and the overrated dragon fruit himself. Of course, there's one copy of it. Instead, I don't get something different. Like what could have been better? Uh, I don't know. We're not bowling because three nuts here. Even Pecanalis would have been better than Dragon Fruit. No, we get no, we get Dragon Fruit. But then again, if we use Pecanalis, Three Nut would be useless here. Three Nut would just be terrible with it. So let's get this going then. Made it to rank forty, but I'm really feeling ashamed of myself because of how slow this has been going. I still have to get the ultimate, and this is the slowest I've ever gotten. To any season, other than season one, of course, because I never made it to Ultimate Lap season one. But oh man, I don't have hopes for this deck, honestly, because Dreenet is alright, I guess, I don't know, but I haven't really used Dreenet at all. This is the first time I'm ever going to use Dreenet. But really, like, I'm getting a really basic deck. It's not probably not going to work. That's why I don't have hopes for him. Besides, Caratina, my least favorite hero. Look at her powers. Look how bad they are. Moving over, playing zombie. That it's not bad in some scenarios. Conjure root. That's terrible synergy. Conjure two tricks is just weak and really pathetic. And her ability, you need to play that minion once you get it. So that's just even worse. So yeah, Caratina is definitely one of my least favorite heroes, and I don't think she'll have potential to be great, honestly. In fact, she's my least favorite, and in my opinion, the worst hero. Worse than Zemek. Zemek's gotten a lot more better due to, like, fossil decks. What does Caratina have? Root decks are awful. Control decks are really not good as, um, for the most part. Such a Caratina being less useful in control decks. And her classes overall are just not good, because they're both supporting class, Smarty and Guardian. So, really, there's really no point of really using Caratina much. If you're going to get up to rank, use Captain Combustible, or what I'm doing yesterday, and Parasol Maniacal Morticia. But, regardless, now we're going to start Caratina and get this horrible character over with.